to kick off the other side of semis, man. We shall see. Will we see a competitive game five situation here, or perhaps another 3 0 on the horizon? If you ask Ally, man, he, he'll tell you Leo is definitely one of his demons. Nice. But we shall see if he can be slain on this day. Nice. So you're going to see Leo stay to that, that tipper jab range or attempt to stay at that tipper jab range or possibly tipper F tilt range, depending on uh, what Ally is presenting here. Beautiful stuff run through pivot grab there into the down throw double up air. Oh, yeah, man. There was, I mean, just keep in mind the history between these guys. There was a time where Leo could not beat Ally. I think it was two or three sets in Ally's favor there. But that was really predicated on the fact that he relied a lot on the meta night. Ever since introducing Cloud and Marv into his repertoire, like, solidly and just kind of taking over that role of mains, it has been a completely different story for Ally, who has really just struggled against Leo for just so long now as we see him just struggling here in the early goings of this game right now. Great spacing on the part of Leo here, just keeping an ally out as he tries to mount some sort of offense but finding none. Yeah, notice Leo, every time he lands, you see the reposition perfect pivot. So, uh, you know, Leo getting his grounding and just adjusting that spacing right. so he can start to establish that wall. Early dancing play, but Ally just running into it. Exactly, man. I was, I was expecting the shield right there. Ally, though, trying to get in here. Not afraid to try and penetrate Marv's zone right here. Oof. Oh, wow. Yeah. Trying to read the spot dodge there with that charge forward smash. Up oh, smash. Yeah. Going to do it for Allies' first stock. All right. Great response there for Leo here. Getting that first stock off. Now let's see what Ally can do. Right, so we've been seeing a lot of nice low neutral air. Tipper neutral air on block. Pretty good. Uh, and then it allows Marv to answer afterwards with the jab. Which, oh, yeah. which leads into other moves. So Mark, you know, very, very proficient at covering himself when he's trying to establish his offense. Air dodge read into the Mario super jump punch. Yeah, why not, man? Great decision making here on the part of Ally. And for him, <laughs> you got to be thinking, man, any damage is good damage right now when you're in this kind of situation. Yeah, Leo, Ally letting it rip, man. Yeah, he's up smashing. He's desperate to get this stock off here. Leo making it so difficult. Goes high right there, throws out the back here. The second one will connect, however. Ooh, yeah. Nice by Ally, just not pushing it any further. He's down right now, doesn't want to risk something crazy happening. Uh, just going to trust himself on stage. And, oh, man, Ally scheming right now, man. You see him uh, breaking MK Leo's zone, but Leo very, very pretty to that and getting out of there. But Ally stalking him in that close range scenario. So I think that's going to be something that develops as the set moves forward. I feel that. All right, excellent catch there from Ally. Needed to get that stock off sooner, certainly rather than later in this situation, though. See, MK Leo coming down to still with the same ferocity that he has just applied since the beginning of this match. It's working out quite well. Just not afraid to just go ahead and just throw out these hits. Make it so uncomfortable for Ally in a lot of these situations, especially nice. when he's trying to land like that, catches the air dodge, and Ally gonna catch that tipper back there. So that, that was MK Leo being wise beyond his ears right there. Gets the down throw, says to himself, Ally's in danger. I can immediately jump up air tipper. Ally is going to uh, defend against that using the second jump resource. Then Leo said, okay, I'm going to jump to space myself within that same situation. Knowing Ally doesn't have a jump to break the pressure, what can he do? Can't fight his way down from up air. He has to air dodge. Yep. Then, reading that air dodge, tipper back air KO. Very, very nice stuff by MK Leo. Absolutely, man. Perfectly summed up there by Gunblade. That situation is really just a game of chess right there. And you can tell that Leo, no stranger to that. So well done to him. Let's see if he can continue to ride that little bit of a wave here. As we game number two, taking it to town in City. Yep. Let's see how this one works out. Yeah, Ally, I, I like this to be in a little bit more aggressive on the ground with this ground movement, trying to make something happen. And as I say that, he starts shooting fireballs. <laughs> so what do I know? <laughs> if he's mixing you up, man, maybe he's doing the same to Leo here. That's pretty much the name of the game. Oh, OK, Leo starting to try to establish Shield Breaker. Now, he did a Shield Breaker in the air and then on the ground when it really wasn't a setup as uh, Leo surviving after the Mario jump punch. But I think maybe Leo might be conditioning Ally to think it's coming and then not use it in the situations where he should. I hear you. All right. Let's yeah, that's a, that's a rough spot for Mario to yeah. be in. And Ally got out of that beautifully there. Nice drift in the air dodge. He was trying to play the platforms to his advantage there. 
Leo just, oh my lord, wow, connecting the up smack. Yeah, nice flood right there, gaining stage control. Great hit with the back air. Nice, beautiful answer. MK Leo so far in this set has had uh, awesome answers to what Ally is presenting. A funky moment right there, and Ally finally getting the grab into the back throw. Ton of back and forth action between these <laughs> two right now. Nice, out of shield back air. Such good reaction too, man. Just no hesitation from Ally. Looking to catch that air dodge, not to be right there. The fourth air, clearing out a little bit of space here. And Leo safely trying to get in there. Man, that, yeah, that's so frustrating to deal with if you're Ally. Yeah, you man, seemingly that's have an opening jab. and just can't really make the most of it. Woo! That was beautiful Woo! reaction. So good on the part of Leo, despite the deficit, able to come through and get that first knock off here. Very fragile lead at 158. Yeah, very nice. Vi the violent trip there, but the smooth finish for MK Leo on is. that throw. And yeah, Leo. I like this. Aerials into the detail and the run through. Nice stuff right there. Getting center stage and then pay, uh, pay dividends for it, man. Most players roll and do all sorts of crazy stuff, trying to fight their way through. Leo used Mark's ground movement right there to get that spot oh, and the wow. shield break. And he'll use his movement to get mm. that shield breaker. Perfectly executed a match that really started out favoring Ally, yep. completely snowballing out of control right there as Leo will end it with a two-stock. And I love this, man. We mentioned before, Leo showed that shield breaker, said, hey, look what I got. Yep. And then I think I think he, he didn't use it throughout the rest of the match. And maybe Ally might have forgot about it. And he said, yeah, you can't forget, man. Yeah, for Ally, I mean, he was taking so much percent just trying to get in there right. You know, I think... It was this case where Leo was just like, all right, I know you're gonna try and minimize that as best you can. Shield, obviously, the right course of action, but unfortunately, not in that situation. So here oh. we go, Ally. Oh, you can see it, man. He is playing with a lot of aggression right now. Yeah, knowing he needs to make something happen. Uh, early percent, though, you might want to try and try and get your bearings again, man. Being down 0-2. And yeah, don't play with that that mindset of of you know tilt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't allow that to be what ultimately dictates oh. how this set goes. <laughs> so he went for the up air right there, I believe, yep. not forward air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I knowing guess that the guarantee. platform wouldn't give yeah. him the, the spot to do it. Uh, I think he wanted that guaranteed damage, and why not? Any damage has been proven to be such good damage for Leo here, continuing to just throw these hits down on Ally. Nice little juke right there off the oh. stage. Oh, my Lord. And they're just continuing to hammer him here. Despite Ally's best efforts to get something going, cannot even touch the stage right now. Yeah, Leo is surgical in his precision here with Mark's sword, landing many, many tipper hits. 133 on Ally. Uh, oh my gosh, tipper dash attack. Oh. I know Pierce 70 just had a heart attack. <laughs> we both kind of leaned back that. in our chair. We felt that one, man, and so did Ally oh. here. All on the line right now. Perhaps another 3 0 for the other side of Winter Semis. Unless Ally can pull a rabbit out of that hat, or at least oh a couple God. of stocks, because he's going to need them. Leo is, is smooth. I mean, th this guy's cooler than the other side of the pillow I'm right now. You, These perfect pivots out of landing to reposition. He juked Ally twice with that. Oh, we've seen Ally make an incredible comeback already once this tournament. His match against Abadango was quite the thriller in game five <laughs> here. Ally may be looking to repeat that performance here and give us another crazy match to talk about. Send this into overtime with a game four, but it's going to be difficult here. Leo has just been such a control freak. Yes. And I'm saying sure. that nicely. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like that ally um, getting flood in. Oh, wow. He dashed on the platform. That was unfortunate. You know he wanted the immediate jump option. Oh, my goodness. Well, he might want some damage here. He's going to go ahead and take it. A lot of big-time combos there. Oh. Goes for the Dunkaroo right there. Luckily, though, for Leo, getting himself on the stage. Oh, no cape. Oh, the cape. Oh, my no cape. And that's what I'm talking about. Those situations of hesitation, you will either live to not repeat them or you will die and regret them. Mm -hmm. Leo, another chance at life here after a missed opportunity for Ally. But Leo does have to be careful, man, because like we mentioned before the set started, Ally has been super clutch this that tournament. Is, that he has, man. Just looking to get on the board right here. Such a big game three. Nobody going to commit to picking an option right there out of shield. Yeah, Dance, nice. Dancing Blade. He's, yeah, he was traveling there. If it hadn't been <laughs> for that platform, I think that stock might have been in a lot of trouble. 
Yeah, and then, see, traditionally going even back to the Brawl Days of Ally, that, this is where Ally gets real brave right here. High percentages, stressful situations. Ally is not scared to get in your zone and say, let's play the game right here. Exactly. Situations like this yield themselves to his favor because he knows that you're in this, you're more shook than he is, right? Mm -hmm. He's willing to be brave. He's willing to go for that risky option because he knows it'll pay off. You, you're looking for that one safe opening here. And as you continue to look for it, you don't see the option that's right in front of you. Ally, however, looking for it. And Leo playing beautifully right now, knowing that the ally is stalking him for this KO. Tipper Fair not going to connect oh, the counter. Frick. Not going it, to get the hit. <laughs> that was such a good decision, though, on the part of Leo, the, to just go, trying to go for a little bit of insurance. Ooh. Oh, a little bit of insurance, but a lot of dash right there. Going to run, get that grab, and the quickest of up throws to propel Ally into the blast zone and himself into winner's finals. This kid is something special, man. What, 15, 16 years I'm old? I'm telling you, man. Staying cool, calm, and collected in pressure situations like this. Unbelievable I mean, stuff, man. A 3-0 on Ally. At that age, man, I was just trying to fade a couple of Fs and Ds on our report card. This <laughs> man out here trying to make some Gs in his wallet, and I can't be mad at him for that. <laughs> we go up smash, taking that first stock in that first game. Back air going to even up the score, but look at that beautiful.